God has taken you out of slavery and taken you to the desert to get you to the promised land. So in the desert, all the mud, all the dirt, he will take out. So in the pain, sometimes we, we are prone to think that our past slavery is a sweet yoke. So we compare the present struggle we compare the present struggle to the past slavery. So same thing happened to the people of Israel. They ask, they grumble, who will give us meat to eat? We remember the fish we ate without cost in Egypt, the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks and the onions and garlic. Now our appetite is gone. There is nothing to look at, nothing but manna. See the, see the attitude. So they remember only the pleasure, not the curtail freedom. They remember, they forget that they were slaves. Momentary happiness will take you to that slavery. In the same way with our lives also. So that illegal affair that addiction that we go through sometimes, we don't, we don't remember the, the curtail freedom, the real joy is lost, isn't it? So we are, but then we miss the momentary thrill and we fall back into the past memories and we hate the cross that we have to take now. Manna, they used to enjoy it. It was like honey, it was tasty, but then monotony of life has caused them frustration. Sometimes in your marriage also, in your daily routine, we begin to compare our past because that momentum, that monotonous way of life has caused that frustration because you don't experience him at all. So in the journey, you're called to experience Him and enjoy. Enjoy the joy of freedom. But then you're lost. The reason why you complain, you complain the Lord that you, that you miss that thrill with sin in the past. You forget the trauma, agony in slavery. That's exactly why people were grumbling. So sometimes what God has given is, is not momentary happiness. That happiness will come through a cross, a desert. That's exactly where you will fall when you forget the journey. My dear friends, today in the gospel we find how Jesus saw them, how Jesus saw the people suffering. And he wanted to strengthen them, give them whatever they want. So you forget that you have a God, you have Abba above you, looking at you, seeing, catering to you, all your needs in the appropriate time, in the appropriate way and in, in the appropriate measure, that you forget it, that you completely forget it. Moses was saying, why have you treated your servant so badly? Is it because you do not love me that you burden me with these people? Did I conceive all these people and did I give them birth? And now you want me to carry them in my bosom as a nurse carries an infant to the land you promise and on oath to their fathers. See the, see the irony here. Moses is asking the Lord, they are not my children. So in the, in the other way, they are God's children. Like a mother, he will nurture them, cuddle them, carry them through the desert. Isaiah 49 verse 15, it is said, even a mother forgets you, 
I will never forget you, my child. So this is how the Lord is taking them. So mother, you give the best food, isn't it? And then the best time. She knows what is good and what is bad. That's how she nurtures you, take care of you. That's exactly how Jesus took care of them. Mother will feed the child with milk, isn't it? Red blood is turned into white milk. And Jesus is giving bread today. Bread to them. But then Jesus is the bread of life. The Eucharist. Eucharist is made out of Jesus' precious body and blood, isn't it? That red blood, red body flesh is turned into a white host. What a motherly kind of taking care of the children. How God fed their children with motherly milk, heavenly milk. That is the Eucharist. It's beautiful. It's beautiful how the Lord took care of them through Jesus. But then today he's asking the disciples, is God who can create things out of, van out of vanity, emptiness. But then he wants the people, he wants what they have to be placed in Jesus' hand to experience the miracle. As long as you have whatever you want in your hand, it will take you nowhere. One day it will make you frustrated, you will never be satisfied because what you have is in your hands. What you have in your hand can give you a thrill, a fun, momentary happiness. But then if you want to have the true joy, true contempt and happiness, satisfaction, you have to give that place all what you have in Jesus' hand. Then only He will take it, break it, bless it and give it to the people. And people were satisfied. That's why, that's how Jesus is training the disciples. You give them something to eat. Disciples were planning to send them away because it was evening. They were passing the ball. They are not taking the responsibility. But Jesus is the true shepherd teaching them. Now we are responsible of taking care of our loved ones. It's your responsibility. How Moses was broken in the wilderness. Moses was asked, how can I give them meat? But then he's a mediator who went before the Lord and pleaded before him. And God served them, served them with meat. So that's how we make our ends meet. When we go to him and surrender our lives to him completely, all what I have in my hand, theoretically, in, with my intelligence, it's useless, meaningless. But the moment I keep, keep that trust, take that step in darkness, leap in the darkness to place everything in Jesus' hand, then only the miracle would happen, satisfying you and satisfying others to the brim. That is the calling. The reason for your frustration fed up feeling is that you have not yet given everything to Jesus' hand. Give everything, throw everything to him and enjoy the freedom and true real joy, the bliss of satisfaction. When Jesus take, bless, break and give. Think about it. Have a nice day. May God bless you.